It's not just the COVID vaccine people need to consider right now. It is that time of year again to talk about the flu. Yeah, that's right. Health officials are urging people to get their flu shot, especially before things start to peak closer to the holidays. So today we are joined by New York City Health Commissioner Dr. Dave Choksi here in studio. He's going to answer all of our important questions and also give us the flu shot this morning. So this is this is great to have you here in the studio. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited. So, uh, doctor, let's begin first with this term that we've heard as a buzzword, twindemic, really, the idea of battling severe flu and COVID at the same time. Can you talk to us a little bit about it? Uh, certainly. The twindemic is something that we want to avoid. Uh, this is the wrong time to get the flu, but that's why it's the right time to get the flu shot. Um, and this is true both for New York City as a whole, but also for every given person. You know, we don't want people uh, to have the risk of having influenza and COVID-19 at the same time. Hmm. So last year, because a lot of people were at home, kids were learning at home, we had a historically low amount of flu cases in the city. So now that people are going back to work, they're going back to school, what are you expecting the numbers of cases? Well, that's exactly right for last year. You know, we saw that the same precautions that we were using, the masking, the distancing, they work to help curb the spread yeah. of the flu. Um, but we are reopening. We're getting more of that mixing now. So it becomes even more important to get the flu vaccine. I'm hopeful that we'll still have a, a good flu season overall, but this is something that's in our control for everyone to get vaccinated against the flu as well. So let's talk about getting the flu shot then, right? Many people who have not even gotten the COVID vaccine are may, you're saying they can get it together, but is it okay to get it together, number one, and is it okay to not get it and to get them at a couple days apart? Yes, either way is fine. You know, if it's more convenient for someone to get it together, that's completely safe. You know, you can get it in, uh, in different arms, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because that helps with some of the side effects. Some people prefer to not get them at the same time just so they can, you know, handle the side effects uh, a bit better. And mm -hmm. that's perfectly fine as well. And speaking about the COVID shots, the FDA advisory panel, they're meeting today to talk about booster shots. What's your take on that? Yes, we're following this very closely. Um, as you know, uh, booster shots have already been authorized for um, people who received the Pfizer vaccine at least six months ago, uh, particularly if you're older than 65 or you have an underlying health condition or you're in a job that puts you at risk. Mm -hmm. And so what the FDA advisory committee will be discussing today and tomorrow is uh, that same um, concept, but for people who receive the Moderna or Johnson & Johnson vaccines. And can we mix them? Yes, there will be some data presented and discussed tomorrow about what's called the mix and match strategy. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see exactly uh, how those discussions go. What I expect to come out of the FDA meeting is, you know, a clear recommendation about people who receive the Moderna vaccine, whether they should get a Moderna booster and who should, if so, and then the same thing for the J&J. &J. And for rollout of boosters, and you and I spoke on Picks on Politics about this. You are ready to handle who gets boosters at what point in time. Yes, that's right. We are ready, and we've already served, uh, you know, over 100,000 New Yorkers with um, the Pfizer boosters, and we'll be ready for Moderna and J&J &J as well. And, and quickly, before we get to some one more question about the flu shot, on the COVID vaccine front, timeline for kids getting the vaccine. Yes, um, also something we're following very closely, as you know, for five to 11 year olds, we expect that will be early November. Hmm. Um, and the FDA and CDC advisory committee meetings are lined up for that. Uh, for kids who are younger than five, like my daughter, mm -hmm. um, you know, we'll have to wait a little bit longer, probably uh, early next year. Okay. But a lot of parents definitely looking forward to that. Well, let's get back to the flu shot. How much does this actually protect us from the flu? And, and you, will, you could still get the flu, right? You can still get the flu, um, but you know, as with uh, any vaccine, it markedly reduces your risk, reduces your risk, particularly of severe illness from influenza. And that's important for anyone because the flu uh, can be severe even for healthy adults. Uh, but it's particularly important for our seniors, uh, for children, particularly children under five, um, as well as people who have chronic conditions or uh, or people who are pregnant. All right, we're going to get Let's ready for this. the shot. But as we get ready, doctor, I want to ask you, people who say, well, I got the flu from the flu shot, that's a myth? That's a myth, okay. yes. Thanks for helping to clarify that. <laughs> um, the flu shot helps protect you. You cannot get the flu from the flu shot. All right, All here right. we go. So Hazel's up first here. I'm ready. Wonderful. Um, and, and as you do this, doctor, as you prepare, because we only have a couple minutes left to do this, um, you're seeing a more and more adults getting the flu shot this year, right? 
That's right. We've already um, vaccinated about 560,000 adults against the flu. So far, only about 250,000 kids. Wow. Um, the number of adults is higher than what we've seen last year, which is great news, but the number of kids uh, is a little bit lower. So we really want to get the message out to, um, uh, to parents to mm -hmm. consider getting the flu okay. shot. She's good. She's all ready to go. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. All right. And again, the COVID vaccine does not protect you from the flu, so it's so important. The COVID vaccine does not protect you against the flu. That's why it's important to get both. And all right, you, you can ready? get it at the same time. You can get it at the same time. Okay. That's exactly I'm right. So, um, are there side effects from the flu shot? Go ahead. Great. <laughs> you're like, go ahead. <laughs> All right. You're just going to feel a little pinch. One, two, three. There you go. All done. Look at that. It's done. Not too bad. No. Not bad. See? Painful. When you're a, <laughs> when you're a when you're a woman that's given birth to a child and you have <laughs> ten million blood tests and shots, right. it's like a Fair flu enough. shot. What's a flu shot? No, um, no. Thank I, you so much, Doctor. I Foster. get mine in my rear right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not going there today. This is a morning show, a family I'm just show, kidding. everyone. I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I, don't, I can't roll my sleeve all the way up because it won't go that high because of these big muscles. <laughs> Um, so side effects for side people who are saying, you know, I, I, you know, I might feel like I tired, whatever, painful arm. What are That's the side right. Effects? A little bit of fatigue, um, some sore arm. Those are the most common ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing you may feel is your immune system, you know, revving up. Um, oh, that's, okay. you know, the uh, uh, the constitutional side effects. There you go. All right. A uh, little bit of headache, you know, some mm -hmm. body aches, and all of that is normal as well. Right. Huh. I'm feel, you don't feel it at all. Well, you do feel it, but it's not that bad. Yeah, I didn't feel it. Right. You didn't feel it at all? Not really. Oh, no. I felt it. No. But it wasn't that bad. There you Dr. Toxi, thank you so much. Of course, thank you. For coming you. in and helping protect us from the flu. And, and for, for, for parents me. and kids, they should go get it together. Yes, my kids That's will That's right. Be Make it a family <laughs> event. Right. <laughs> My kids will be getting their flu shots very soon. Did you get yours? Um, I haven't gotten mine yet. I'm getting it tomorrow. My okay. daughter um, is actually getting it this afternoon. Right. Oh. Do you want me to give you yours now? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, Dr. Choksi, thank you so much for coming in studio to do this for us this morning and really help the public out as well. It's a pleasure. Thanks for allowing me to spread the message. All right.